All right, morning guys. Today we'll be doing a solar panel install on the roof rack of my disco. So that's the Rhino flat platform, 1400 by 2.1 meter. Uh, I've got the 100 watt solar panel from Battery World. Uh, measurements are just here. And um, I'm gonna be mounting it today with just some L brackets from, from Bunnings. So I'm gonna mount them uh, so that they face inside of the solar panel and the solar panel sits on top and then I just test screw in from the outside so that you can't see the brackets at all. I want it to be a nice, neat and clean finish so uh, that's the way I want to do it. And then after the solar panel is mounted up I'll be just stick of flexing from the panel to the rack to stop any wind noise getting in that tiny little gap because it likes to make high pitched noises when that happens. Um, once the solar panel is all mounted up, we'll just be running cabling through the car, which is probably the more interesting part for you guys. So, uh, I don't know how much I'm going to record in my driveway. I still get shy around my neighbours seeing me with cameras and stuff outside. So, yeah. So the neighbours are kicking around, I got a little camera shy, but um, that's the panel, all mounted up, and then I've just stick a flex to stop any wind noise coming in. So all I'm going to do now is run the cable down this channel, all the way to the back, and run it through the back um, back tailgate, maybe in behind the, the rear tail light there, and um, pop it into the car. Um, also make sure after drilling holes in your roof rack or whatever that you uh, get rid of any of the the metal and stuff sitting on top of your roof otherwise you will get all rust spots so that's probably the most important part about this job is the the clean up afterwards
right, so that's the cabling run down from the roof. Um, I've just got a couple more cable ties to do up top, but I'm getting the gist of it there. Just got to tidy up the cables actually underneath the panel. But basically the cable just comes straight down in this gap here under the door. And then I don't know if I'm going to secure this or just leave it there. It doesn't do anything because the door seal itself seals on the other side of this. So this is just tucked away in a void. Um, I might just do the trip that I'm about to do of it, see if it rubs on the paintwork. If it rubs on the paintwork, I'll um, sort something out of it, maybe tuck it in there. Otherwise, I'll just leave it as is. And then I've just tucked it in behind the, um, the tail light there. So um, from the tail light, as you would have seen, it comes down through two rubber grommets. Same as my self I go install. Um, and then all I gotta do now is wire it up to the fuse panel and then into the um, solar regulator on my DC DC charger. That's it all done. It took a little bit longer than I thought because I realized I hadn't uh, conduited a lot of the cables that I ran in here before I'd done like a quick last minute trip. So just put a bit of protection on the rest of them. Um, spied in a fuse and the iTech BCDC 40 amp hour charger has a MPPT solar regulator built into it. So all I've had to do is run a positive and negative to the Anderson plug on that. And yeah, all I've done is run it uh, along the, the mesh on the back here and through that tail light that you guys seen earlier. And I uh, know there'd be a few of you that would not be liking the looks of the wiring. <laughs> um, I will tidy that up one day. It was something I chucked together for that dual battery install video the day before I went for a trip. So I've just been lazy and I haven't pulled it all apart again. But I will be tidying that up again one day. But for now when you put the covers on, it's like magic. Pfft, looks tidy as. Um, what I'm going to do, put my fridge on, uh, it doesn't use bugger all, love this fridge, for anyone that is interested in a drawer fridge, Evercool by far the best, heat's better than the angle, more room as well, 91.8%, uh, obviously it's going to be less than that, it's only 8.30 at night now, I've had it on since 3 o'clock, but yeah, just wired the solar up, so I'll push her out in the driveway, leave it there, and we'll come out in the morning and see if I'm at 100% or not. I'll talk to you then.